Example problem four reads, light is incident on the surface of a benzene sample at an angle of 12 degrees to the normal. What is the angle of light to the normal in the benzene? The refractive index of air is 1.0 and the refractive index of benzene is 1.501. So again, this is a Snell's law problem and Snell's law is N1 sine of angle one equals N2 sine of angle two. So there's gonna be a set of refractive indexes and there is going to be a set of angles. So in this problem, we have a sample of benzene, kind of like the other problem. So this is gonna be the benzene and this is gonna be the light or air. Some light is hitting the benzene and then it's going down into the benzene. So it strikes the surface of the benzene, which is here, creates an angle, and that angle belongs to the air because it's not inside the benzene. Um, the problem reads, light is incident on the surface of a benzene sample at an angle of 12 degrees to the normal. So that is gonna be the degrees for N1, which we're choosing N1 to be air or light. So since N1 is air or light, N2 has to be benzene. The problem asks us for the angle of light to the normal in the benzene. So we're going to be looking for angle two. It tells us the refractive index of air is 1.0 and the refractive index of benzene is 1.501. Before putting all of the variables in, do a double check in your calculator and make sure that you're in units of degrees and not units of radians. So once you've done that, N1 is 1 sine of 12 degrees equals N2 is 1.501 sine of an unknown angle. So in your calculator, you would type sine of 12. Sine of 12 equals, I'm gonna get out of scientific mode here. Sine of 12 equals 0 0.207. So 0 0.207 and that times one is just itself. So equals 1.501 sine of angle two. And so we're gonna get rid of this 1.501 and it's gonna cancel. So divided by 1.501 equals 0 0.138 equals sine of the angle two. And at this point, we're gonna take the inverse sine like we did previously, 0 0.138 of each side because the inverse sine of angle two is gonna be the angle itself. So in your calculator, you should hit second sine minus one, which is usually right on top of the sine button, 0 0.138, and that should give you about 7.93 degrees, or we'll just say about eight degrees. Let me know if you have any questions about example problem four.